let me tell you the truth about Miss Vanessa Seco. What's up everybody, welcome to the vlog. I am so excited to vlog for today because I am going to a shuffling dance class. So if you guys don't follow Vanessa Seco on Instagram, you have to follow her, she's like the queen of shuffling. <laughs> And she's holding a dance class here in LA and shuffling is really cool because it's a way to express how much you love like the music that you're listening to. So I love like EDM and house and dubstep and all that. So to be able to express how much I love it in a dance, I think would be so cool. So I'm really excited to go learn it because Shuffling is something I've been wanting to learn for a long time, but I am always worried about like practicing the wrong way. So if I'm just sitting at home doing it wrong by myself, I don't want to practice that and create a bad habit. So I'm so excited to at least have this one lesson so I can like learn it, figure out how to do it. And then hopefully by the end of this video, I may be able to show you a little bit of what a shuffle looks like. Oh, coffee. No, it's not coffee. It's better. <laughs> better than coffee? Homemade. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yep, try mine. Mine I'm tastes like dirt. Oh my gosh. She's the smoothie queen. Try That's amazing. Yeah, I know. This That's like cool. actually one of the best smoothies I think I've ever had. This one's like dirt. I'm really oh, I think I'll pass. <laughs> she goes, this one's like dirt. Would you like it's to try It's more like natural tasting. I'm really good at making smoothies. Gosh, show me how you shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> That's not shuffling. The goal is by the end of this class, we can um, actually do a little bit of footwork. Hey. Hello. I know, it's so bad. You check in here. Did you guys set up on the app for Team Millie? I did. Last name? Hayden. You're all set. Thank you. you will receive but just give and know that you will receive does that make sense yeah. Yeah. Miss Vanessa Seco. This girl has so much love and light in her heart. I could just like explode from happiness. She was so great to take shuffling from. You guys, if she ever has a class, you have to go, but not before I get my ticket because I'm gonna be there if it's in LA. You guys, it was the best thing ever and I'm definitely not a professional shuffler after one dance class, but we're on our way. We are one step closer than we were yesterday. You guys, seriously, it was really awesome and the whole group of people that attended as well, such positive vibes and good energy, which is exactly what I expected going into that so you guys that brings me to tip number one to having a better weekend go try something new do something outside of your comfort zone you guys if you don't know I was like completely out of my comfort zone because I don't dance that was my first dance class ever and I, I had no idea what to expect so I went in there kind of like eh, but I didn't care like I didn't care about feeling uncomfortable because it's something I wanted to do something that makes me happy and something I wanted to try I'm so glad that I did it I did have friends that came with me but you guys I was gonna go with or without them <laughs> let's be real so if you guys are considering trying something, I highly encourage you to do that. Comment down below what you're gonna try, what's gonna be the new thing that you're gonna try this weekend. After the dance class, uh, I got some sleep because I was so tired, and then we went on a hike the next morning, so I wanna share with you guys the absolutely beautiful view and the interesting hike that we went on. <laughs> Thank you. 
Don't want to mislead. This is all you need. Be your everything, and yeah, I'll be your everything. I'm in it for the love, cause love it needs to touch it. Check it out. So here, everyone gets like a lock, and they put their initials of them and their lover, and they come lock it away and hope for endless love. Chris and Holly, I hope you guys are still going strong. <laughs> Best of luck. So pretty from up here. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but that's the Hollywood sign right there. Sup, Hollywood? Hey, buddy. Don't get ideas. Stay with your family. Now time for Emily's top of the mountain workout. <laughs> I'm not gonna work out. It doesn't work out to get up here. But I did just have to say, there are so many people that are running this thing and like jogging it with their dogs and with like some friends and stuff. And I have mad respect for anyone that comes here for a workout because that is hard. Like <laughs> I'm walking and I'm like, whew, it's a good workout. But I think it just comes with, they have a different purpose of doing it. Like my purpose for being here is to like enjoy the views, be a little more active on my rest day. And I like train really hard during the week. Mad props to anyone that is doing that. Many hours later. You guys, <laughs> this hike has taken quite the turn. We got to a point, right? And Max is like, I think we should go down this way. And I'm like, I think we should go down this way. He's like, no, that way looks much more sketchy, even though there's like so many people on that one. And there's <laughs> no one on the one that he wants to go on. <laughs> so we go on it and it's like straight down. Okay, maybe not straight, but it's like really slanted down. It's like that huge, massive hill. And the entire thing is like gravel and like different steps and like rocks. And like, I definitely would not have made it if he were here like holding my hand and then he's like we made it we're good and we come up to this farm of cactuses let me go down this farm of cactuses I guess I'm, good, I'm good i'm good i'm good and now we have to go through this maze where if you make one wrong step you're going to be in a farm of cactus land they're going to eat you for lunch breakfast and dinner <laughs> we can do it somehow comment below who thinks i'm about to get stuck by a cactus this you have to like run down this thing there's no way to make it unless i slide on my butt Update, we did not fall into the cactuses, but it did not get easier after that. Um, There's only one other guy that was going down the way that we were going down. I think it was definitely an up thing, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely, only for up. <laughs> we fucked up, but it was so fun. You did. <laughs> I knew, I was like, this does not look safe. And you're like, we've got this. I basically was skiing down the mountain, guys, with my shoes because my shoes had zero traction. If you see that there's no one else around, that's probably a pretty clear sign that it's I don't know, something you should either avoid or just have correct shoes for. Anyways, the best way to end a hike is with a fruit cup. We got mango, watermelon, pineapple with a little bit of lime juice and tahini on it. So good. <laughs> it was like magical entering our mouths after a hike like that. That was a long hike. How long were we there for? That was probably three hours, honestly. Now what? Now we go home and pick out the worst Netflix movie <laughs> and don't watch it. <laughs> and fall asleep instead. That fruit could not have tasted any better. You guys, it brings me to tip number two to having a better weekend. Go do something active and something challenging. Even if we hadn't gone down kind of the wrong path on the hike, it still would have been a challenging hike and it still would have given us that accomplished feeling. There's nothing better than on the weekend having a day where you go out and you kind of challenge yourself actively in a different way than you normally do during the week. If your thing is yoga, if your thing is kickboxing, if your thing is bodybuilding or CrossFit, do something different on the weekend, but still get active so that you can get that feeling of accomplishment and then go rest. You guys, I didn't film it for my YouTube, but I did film it for your Instagram. After we had the fruit cup, we went home, we ate a regular healthy meal, and then later that night, we had pizza, breadsticks, and garlic, and it was just so fabulous. Did we have cookies? We probably had a, oh, we had a cookie and then a piece of a cake as well. So we lived our best damn lives, and we really encourage you guys to do the same. Those are my two tips to having a better weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do me a favor right now, if you watch my videos, stop what you're doing, stop, and press subscribe. Once you press subscribe you'll be notified of my other videos right now I'm doing one recipe video a week and then like a little vlog or a tip video or a full day of eating for the second video every single week so two videos a week 
and our YouTube fam is growing strong. You guys, I could not get past 67,000. I don't know why, but I could not get past 67,000. We hit 70,000 recently, and now we're already at 70.6. So welcome to all of you guys that are subscribing. Just know that I'm so excited to have you here, and I love creating content, but I love creating content that you guys enjoy. So your feedback is so greatly appreciated, whether it's a thumbs up on a video, you can do it right now, or it's a comment of you guys letting me know what you guys like. Even if there's something that you guys don't necessarily like, or if you guys have suggestions of what you want to see moving forward. I love creating content and I'm going to keep doing it for you and you and you and you get content and you get content. Okay. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.